All right, guys, good morning. On this episode of What's Wrong with the Trucking Industry, I'm going to talk about brokers. We're in a group chat um, with, I don't know, probably six of us or so that all run Hotshot or Trucking. And um, one is Terrence from Bank Shipping. And uh, he sent us this little thing from, I guess it was a Facebook group or something, where this guy is a works for a brokerage and was bragging about the percentage that they take off of a load. Uh, so we're gonna get into some numbers and, uh, and kind of discuss what we think should be, should be done in the trucking industry about this. All right, so anyways, this Facebook post um, was people talking about brokers and this guy chimes in who must work for a brokerage and uh, he replied to someone's comment about brokers taking 30% um, so you know you got a load that pays a thousand dollars they're gonna post it on the board for 700 you take it at 700 they get their 30% which we'll get to that this guy said he averages 38%. So he's getting $380 on every thousand for just being the middleman. Now, I'm all about people making money, but the problem with that is, is the expenses of a brokerage versus the expenses of a trucking company. When it comes down to who's moving the actual load, the, the expenses are so much higher for the trucking company. I mean, somebody might try to prove me wrong but then you might be doing things wrong as far as if you own a brokerage now the guy's bragging about getting 38 averaging 38 percent as a brokerage now i've heard numbers and this kind of makes sense because of how bad uh tql is uh i heard they they strive for 50 percent so they're taking half of what it costs or what the, that customer's paying to move that load and you figure half of that, you know, say a customer's willing to pay a thousand, if they're taking, you know, 500, that 500 is probably what it actually costs to move that load as far as fuel and maintenance and wear and tear and all that. So the fact that they're getting that much. So I say because, you know, I, I've brokered a few loads, I, you know, have a brokerage and uh, on mostly cars. So what I usually do is I find, let's just keep it round numbers. You know, I say it's gonna, you know, probably cost this customer about, you know, a thousand bucks to move this car. I'm shooting to maybe make 10% because what I like to do, and you post it on the board for 800 or whatever. I don't have to call that customer when somebody calls and they're like hey i can do it for 900 i don't have to to call i can say okay let's do it let's get the car moved and i'm all about just getting this stuff moved now you call a brokerage for freight or even for cars you call and you're you know you're like hey can you you, know, you gotta post it for 800 can we do a thousand and they'll be like no we don't even have that much into it when it obviously what people are saying is they have way more into that and they're just trying to you know make as much as they can on the fact that some schmuck's gonna come in and just take it for whatever it's posted for which is hurting the industry because you know people just out there running for cheap is what is what the part of the problem is there's a lot of problems out here in the trucking world but people you know willing to just take that cheap freight now i get that there's opportunities that you have to take lower priced freight i'm not gonna say cheap to get you in a better area i get that but I had this happen to me the other day there was a load for i think it was four thousand something like that and i called on it and the guy's like, let me call the customer and make sure it, we're still good and that's ready to go. I'm like, okay, that sound, sounded normal, you know. I, I appreciate that. Came back, called me and says, hey, the load's gone. I'm like, something happened? Like, is our time's off or, you know, what, is there something we can do? No, we had somebody take it for 3600 
It's like it was posted for four. So the fact that somebody comes in and just like, what's it going to take for me to get this? And the guy's probably like, I don't know, take it for 3600 And the guy's like, okay. And that's, uh, that's really hurting the industry. But what do you guys think? What's, what's the fix? I hate to say that government regulations needed because the last thing you want is the government involved in anything. But you see how the government cracks down on the people that are actually moving the goods and the goods from location to location and you know with DOT picking on people and price of fuel and tolls and like everything just is going through the roof. Should there be any type of industry regulation on brokerage i don't know you guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think but i just find it kind of disgusting and we were, we were trying to figure out who this guy worked for um because i'm all about people making money but if you're on you know facebook bragging about how much you make uh because you're taking 38 percent of a load i uh, that's just that kind of rubs me the wrong way so let me know what you guys think down in the comments and uh you guys have a safe, happy, healthy 4th of July, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.